everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm going to take you through another what we eat in a week and this is going to be heavy on fall meals, some talking stew, chili, all of that good fun comfort foods because fall weather is here. So I hope you guys enjoy just walking through and seeing healthy meal ideas that we made this week. On the first night, we just had some roasted chicken and vegetables. This is kind of my fast food. Making a roasted chicken is so easy to do. I just put it in a nine by 13 pan, drizzle it with some oil and some spices. And then I like to add some onions and carrots and different vegetables around it. Just so while I'm roasting that, I can also have some roasted vegetables. I also stuck some sweet potatoes in the oven so we could have that with dinner as well. After the sweet potatoes were done, I peeled them and I smashed them up into a bowl and added in a little bit of honey and cinnamon and some vanilla. And then I also served this with some sauerkraut. I strive to get something fermented at every meal, and so we eat a lot of sauerkraut, kefir, and yogurt, but with this meal, I just did some sauerkraut with the vegetables. On the second night, we had some beef stew, and so I made some bone broth out of the chicken bones that we had for the night before, and I just made this in the Instapot. Sorry here, my camera obviously was completely crooked when I was filming this, and I'm just noticing it now when I'm editing the video. But I am just searing up the stew meat on the saute mode on the Instapot, and then I added in some chopped potatoes, onions, and carrots, and also some mixed vegetables into my homemade bone broth. So I love to get bone broth into our diet as much as possible. So stews and soups are commonly on our menu multiple times a week, usually, or at least once a week. I also added in a can of organic diced tomatoes. I love that in stew. And then I added in a bag of mixed vegetables just to make it more filling and to add in some more veggies. On the third night we had tacos, or what I like to call tacos without the shell. So I'm just chopping up some fresh peppers, onions, tomatoes, and cilantro to make a pico de gallo to top our tacos with.
making some taco meat with just ground beef and some diced onions. And I also put some taco seasoning on there. And I'm just putting this into a bowl with some fresh chopped lettuce, the pico that I just made, some avocado, and also some cheese and some homemade yogurt, which we are using here for sour cream to get our fermented food in. And then also some salsa and just a little bit of hot sauce. And this meal is so delicious. Everyone in my family absolutely loves it. It's definitely a family favorite. On the fourth night, we had some vegetable noodle soup. Again, I had some broth made up. This was actually some beef broth that I made with some of our soup bones. And I am just dicing up some potatoes and some onions. I'm gonna cook in my broth. And then I added in some fresh pressed garlic. And once those vegetables were soft, I added in a can of diced tomatoes, some riced cauliflower. That's one of my main ingredients that I like to always add into soups or stews because no one even notices that it's there and it's just more vegetables. Some more mixed greens. And then I did a bag of some gluten-free noodles that are just made out of quinoa that I found at Aldi. Those are just some noodles that I had on hand. I brought all this to a boil till everything was soft and that was a dinner. On the fifth night, we had some fajita quesadillas. Now this was actually just a meal that I made for me and my husband because the kids had soccer this night and we had some leftover soup. So they ate that for dinner. And then later after soccer, I had some chicken and some more peppers and onions and a little bit of that leftover pico from the taco night. So I decided to mix up some quesadillas. So I just pan fried my chicken. And once it's cooked, I kind of chop it up into little bite-sized pieces. I shredded up some fresh sharp cheddar cheese and then I just made quesadillas with some tortillas, cheese, and the chicken veggie mixture. I served this with fresh avocados, salsa, and some of that pico de gallo. Okay, so on night six and seven and basically the rest of our lives, we are having a chili. No, for real, we host a hayride every single year and I am making a chili for the hayride and we have a ton of people coming. So I am making a whole entire roaster of chili, but it will be plenty for us to have for dinner tonight. And then tomorrow is the hayride. So I'm just grounding up some beef. I'm sauteing a ton of peppers, a ton of onions, fresh garlic, and then I'm just using some organic canned beans and organic canned tomatoes. Both of those are from Aldi. I could definitely do dry beans, but in the past, sometimes I, because I do cook this all day on the day of the hayride to warm it up, if I do can or fresh beans, I find that I either overcook them or undercook them. So just to make things easy, I'm using these organic beans. And then, like I said, the organic tomatoes, adding in a lot of fresh vegetables to add some flavor. And voila, I have chili for the entire family.
this video gave you guys some good ideas for some new healthy recipes for you to make at home, be sure to check out my cookbook. Down in the description box below, I have a 30 day of healthy eating cookbook with a grocery list, all the recipes you need for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. It's an easy, fun, printable that you can have on hand to just have some more recipes and get some more ideas. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by and cooking with us.